my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today's readings invite us to reflect on the profound reality of redemption and the transformative power it holds in our lives. We encounter the mercy of God and the assurance of forgiveness through the Acts of the Apostles, the Epistle of John and the Gospel of Luke. And we have the call to witness to the risen Christ in our daily lives. In Acts 3, 13 to 15, 17 to 19, we witness Peter's bold proclamation of the gospel, addressing the crowd, calling them to repentance and conversion. He acknowledges the past transgressions of the people, but assures them of the opportunity for renewal through repentance and acceptance of Christ's redemption. This call to repentance echoes throughout the scripture, reminding us of God's unwavering love and his desire for our reconciliation. Psalm 51, 17, Isaiah 1, 18. The epistle of John in 1 John chapter 2, 1 to 5 emphasizes the role of Jesus Christ as our advocate with the Father. Here, John assures us that despite our weaknesses and failures, we have an intercessor who speaks in our defense. This truth should not lead us to complacency, but rather inspire us to strive for righteousness and obedience to God's commandments. 1 John chapter 2, verse 3 to 6. So we demonstrate through our daily actions of love and obedience, our gratitude for the graces bestowed upon us through Christ's sacrifice. In the Gospel of Luke 24, 35 to 48, we encounter the risen Christ appearing to his disciples, offering them peace and understanding. He opens their minds to comprehend the scriptures, emphasizing the fulfillment of the prophecy in his death and resurrection. The disciples as witnesses to these events are commissioned to proclaim repentance and forgiveness to all nations beginning in Jerusalem. So what does all this mean for us today? How do these ancient words speak to our modern lives? Firstly, we are called to acknowledge our need for redemption. Just as the people in Peter's time were urged to repent and turn to God, we too must recognize our own sins and seek forgiveness. This requires humility and honesty before God and our fellow humans, acknowledging our faults and shortcomings. Secondly, we must embrace the assurance of forgiveness offered through Jesus Christ. His sacrifice on the cross provides the ultimate remedy for our sins and his resurrection assures us of the victory over sin and death. Thirdly, our faith calls us to action. Just as the disciples were commissioned to proclaim the gospel, we too are called to be witnesses to the transformative power of Christ in our lives. Our actions, guided by love and obedience, serve as a testimony to the world of God's redeeming love. In conclusion, let us embrace the message of redemption found in today's readings. Let us sincerely repent of our sins. Humbly accept the forgiveness offered through Jesus Christ and courageously live out our faith in our daily lives. May we be empowered by the Holy Spirit to be bold witnesses to the risen Christ, bringing hope and healing to a world in need. Amen. God bless all. 
For further updates, subscribe to our channel and please click on the bell icon. Thanks for watching.